Hello all, so we are back for another Saturday in our Jelly Jumping Dory and our Cabinet of Curiosities. So I've gone back to some of our, of our original um, printables for this series, our Cabinet of Curiosities, and I'm still working through them because, I mean, there were quite a bit in there, so I want to keep on going back until I use them all, but it's nice that they're dispersed throughout our journal in some pretty neat ways. So, yep, I'm loving it. So today I had this green and I decided, let me try to work with the green versus just covering it up because I'm really not crazy about it entirely, but I do like, it's got a lot of good old wall, like all of that's good and all of that. So I figured let's try working with it first. So I have this, I have this printable and I have an idea of how, what I want to do with it. And, and then on this page, I, you know, I thought just using some of these um, ledger pages. And so I just kind of reached in and got a handful of my, um, uh, you know, envelopes. And I like kind of doing different things with the envelopes. So I thought, these are just, let me see, what's the size on these? Where is my ruler? Hmm. That's odd here once again. Oh, here it is. I knew I had it on this table. So these envelopes are Six and three quarters by three and three quarters or nine and a half centimeters by 17 centimeters so either way so they're it's a, they're not really big they're nice and narrow and I think they'll work well um, as an element on the page and so I had a few that I had already kind of made pockets with you know just really literally gluing them and cutting a little thumb hole you know you know this isn't new to you all you guys know how to do all of that so i won't even waste your time with that part of it it's just different sizes with the thumb holes but i did this one here where i kind of made it like a pocket inside with an outer flap and I like that so I think we'll do this one which just takes two envelopes um because it, it'll kind of give us that that little you know tuck place it'll end up being glued on here and just gives us another little tuck place um I could flip it this way and have it maybe that's how I'll do it I'll have it actually flip out Let me think about that. Do I want it to flip out or do I want it to flip? I think I'll have it flip this way. Because the other way, if it flips out, it could run the risk of getting caught in the pages and then getting crinkled or something weird. So I think I'll just have it open this way and be on the page. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to sort of make, I kind of do this little odd little belly band type of thing where I'll take an image. So I'll just grab this and I'll glue it to another sheet of paper just to give it some strength. That's really good. Um, so I'll just get my glue book here. Let me just grab a sheet of paper. Like this one would be fine. And just go ahead and glue this up. So just go ahead and put glue over your entire page. And then this can set and be drying while we're working on our flip.
Let's get a good coverage. Okay. So we're going to put this down. Okay. Okay, so that's just going to strengthen um, this piece of paper. So we're going to put this over to dry. And now we're going to come back to our, to make it our flip. So take two envelopes. I think we're going to ultimately need three envelopes. Okay, so. I have to look back to see what I did. Where is it? Okay. This right here. So this one is basically, okay. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this envelope and seal it. So we can use, we can use the that's already there and then just kind of put some extra on these so I'm going to close it sealing it shut and then just take and trim off very thin edge there we're going to open it up. This will make our You see I'm just taking off just a sliver and then the top edge. Okay. So that'll open up and that'll give us our our first little folio and it doesn't have to be really glued down that well because we're going to actually um, glue the pocket on top of it but you know you can always just put a little extra glue on that flap okay so So you see we have this folio. Okay. And then for the second one, easy peasy, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to glue it shut. And just go ahead and get some extra glue on these edges where the, where the ceiling, you know, the Seal doesn't go all the way there. And close it again. Like that. And then we're going to cut the top off. I think before we cut the top off, I'm going to go ahead and glue the, um, the ledger paper on it so that I only have to cut it one time. So where is, okay, so we have our folio and then we have one that we completely um, glued. And this is going to be our pocket. This is going to go on top of here. It'll get glued down once we, um... oh, I know what I'm going to do too. I'm thinking through as we go. So on the front here, I'll put this pine thing. How perfect will that be? Right on the front. Okay. So let's go ahead now and we can literally, let's take this in. Sorry if I'm all over the place here. Just kind of thinking as a go. Let's go ahead and get this. I want to get this down 
on okay so now we don't need to put anything here because that's going to go there we want to put something here and we're going to put something on the front but we don't need the back either because that's going to get glued to our our journal so now just kind of decide i think i want this to be prominent that 89 and you know i have to have these ink blots so i think i'm going to make that be the top Yep. So let's go ahead and glue up the uh, the front of the envelope. Just get a good amount of glue on, and then we just lay our our ledger sheet right on top. Now I don't think I have my little circle punch to put my thumb hole in but you don't have to put a thumb hole in or you can or you can just cut one real rough so i might just cut it rough but if you have your circle punch you can use that so i should have a circle punch in this drawer somewhere but it doesn't matter so let's go ahead and put this down it so I can just kind of have that torn edge which I like but you can cut it too so how's everything going I just jumped in and started working I guess because I had <laughs> this on my mind I didn't even check in and see how's everybody doing how's your journals coming along and all that good stuff yeah it's been a pretty busy week for me I think it's going to be a busy summer between all my projects and everything. I don't think I'm going to get a break. Okay, so let's go ahead. Now we can go ahead and just cut the top of this. And that's going to open our pocket. Let's see, so that gives us our pocket opening right there. Which is cool because it really looks like a journal page. But, you know. Love it. So that looks pretty cool. So from here, so that's going to get glued on here like that. But in the meantime, we need something over here. So why don't we go with 88? <laughs> why not? It's only given portions of the ledger page, but you know, the numbers are there and I like those numbers. So we'll keep that going. Okay, so look at this. Alrighty. Okay, so this eighty eight is going to go here. So I need it to go into this fold right up to it. Actually, I'm going to let it go over a little bit so that it's underneath and it'll just be smoother. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and glue this up. like a lot of you all enjoyed the the idea of the um the slides so any of you got your slides and got started i think that's so cool i love the slides thing myself when i discovered that 
that app, I was just like, okay, this works for me. I think one of uh, one of the ladies said that her husband, I guess, saw the the YouTube or was looking at her or walked by. She didn't say the specifics, but he loved the idea of the slide app. Told me, told uh, her to tell to thank me because <laughs> he has a lot of slides and he is just wanting to do that with. So that's funny. All the husbands out there that, uh, I'm not gonna put that there, that uh, see the channel and see what we're doing as they pass through the rooms and stuff. I think that's cool. Okay, so. Okay, so that's good. Now let's go ahead and get this fold again. Because remember, I sort of did it over a bit so that, um, you know, it's flush. I didn't want those edges to meet strange. So this can go here. And it's kind of like a journal, you know, 88, 89, you know, even though it's not all there, you get it. So, love it. So that's going to go there. But in the meantime, I want to get this down. Oh, this is going to be good. So let me figure out how to measure this. I'll just, I don't want it to be equidistant. So I'll just sort of lay it down like that and just rip it. That way and flip it and uh, kind of get the same thing there. Probably the easiest way just to measure it. And now that'll go right on top. So I'll glue it up and then I'll get it right there in the middle. That's good. It's amazing how it's going to work nice with that green. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue the front of this. So this is just kind of a cool way to make your folio. And this will have a pocket so you can still kind of stick uh, found objects in it or anything that one would even think about, you know, in a field notes or in your cabinet of curiosities type of journal. That's what I love about it. So that will go there. Make sure I get it. Okay. There we go. Okay, so let's cut this off. I love working with envelopes to make folios. I think envelopes are some of the easiest and the coolest way to make all different kind of folios. And of course, if you wanted to make a double pocket, you could take, let me see what I have here. You could take an envelope, cut it in half, and put a, you know, cover this again and put it down here. And uh, so on this side, you could have a pocket this side of pocket. Uh, you can do so much with this. You guys have seen this kind of stuff before, but I love working with envelopes um, in our journals. Okay, so that this is a perfect size. That was a perfect size print for this by being a little, you know, a smaller um, botanical. Works perfectly on this envelope. All right, so then the last thing we're gonna do with this is put our our pocket back in and here this is where we would normally put our thumb hole but i don't know that i'm gonna do that right now i think i'll just put it but it is nice to have an idea that that's what's here so let me just go ahead and literally we can just cut a little Just cut a little thumb hole there. So that way you do see 
that that's a tuck spot. Yep, all right. So let's go ahead and glue this up. So I'm gonna do the full back so that, I use a little extra glue there so that this stays, even though the whole thing's gonna get glued to the back, it's just nice so that nothing's lifting up weird. Now, let me see. I like to hit that fold so we'll know. So it's just a little bit, just going to be a little bit on the outside of that fold so that when it closes, we have plenty of space. So the envelope might just stick out a little bit there, but it's okay. So here's our folio. How cool is that? So that's going to go on this page. And, um, you know, as a tuck spot. So that's going to get glued down. But I like, like, I mean, I like my paper underneath there because it's stained. But I feel like something transparent could go there. So let me just go and check the printables and see if I have anything from them that is, um, so I'm gonna put that there. So something here that may be a little bit like onion skin or something. Just flip through and see what we see. No idea. It'd be nice if I had some of this ledger paper as a uh, in the in onion skin. I don't know that I do. This that's not gonna get us what we want. I do have some of this? Pull that out. Oh, wait a minute, I have some of this. That will, that will use that. Oh, I do have some ledger paper. Let's pull this out too, okay. Okay. So, I love just this tissue paper that is I'll just put that at the bottom and then this will go right here yeah that's what I'm gonna do oh I love it it's just stained um what do we call this it's stained tracing paper just with some coffee stain and a little wood so we're gonna put that down right here Should have brought it, should have cut a larger piece. Hold up, we need this piece here. We need this piece, it has to go all the way over. Okay, so we need it to go over to there. So that allows us to just kind of put it right on here, but it gives a, a little something extra to the page so it doesn't look so, you know, just plain. I could actually, Use a little bit of that. I just think it's too much writing. I like this. Which sheet? This piece. Let's go with this. So this we can put straight on here. Oh, love it. So I'm gonna get the Giotto. 
because this could use a little stronger glue. Up to this point, we were good with the Ubu. straight down. And the tracing paper, it just allows you to see what's underneath the page, but yet it still, you know, gives that, that stained look and just, just an interesting texture. And now we're just going to put this right on top. Like maybe we can center it. We can put it to the edge. So it opens like this, and we can center it. Maybe center it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some glue. So we'll use the glue. This has been working really good. I really like working with envelopes. I did a whole series of these envelope pamphlets um, a while back. A lot of you guys purchased it in my first Friday sale. I um, purchased them because I made so many of them and I used a lot of my antique um, Asian papers. Oh, I just really enjoy making them. I like using them in my books and uh, what have you. Okay, so, so we'll center that. So that looks good, you know. And so all of this is just a couple envelopes in the printables. And you guys already, so many of you already have the printables. So there'll be a link for them below the video for those of you who are new and, you know, or just never got them. And they're only $6. All my printables are very reasonable. Um, and I think, I don't know how many pages. There are a lot of pages because we used a lot of them. It's in the teens, I know that. I don't know if it's 17 or 15, it's something like that. Okay, now this is the one that also gives us this little tuck spot. So as you can see here, we also have this closed pocket. Come on, let's open up. So, you know, we have this pocket here. I use a little bit of Giotto here on these corners because it's a little thick. And we want that to lay down nicely. So, okay, so now we have to go to the other side. So we got that side done. So we made ourselves a nice little flipped out folio with a tuck spot there. And then, Let's go to this side. Now, I feel like I want to, um, I want to use this, and I kind of take this and I'll make a belly band with it. You'll see I'm going to do a fussy tear on it so we can still have this green, but yet it'll still kind of be this tuck spot. But I'm trying to decide if I want to put something down the side here, or if I just want to, maybe I just want to leave it. Let's just go ahead and rip it and see. Love this, I love that little pine. Goes so well, okay. Okay, Robin, keep on. So let's go ahead and, we go ahead and get a straight edge at the bottom. And a straight edge at the top. We're just getting rid of the the book page. And so here we want to. So what I like to do is I'm a fussy tear this, but I just want to see what I'm going to keep and what is going to go. So let's just come down here first. We're gonna get rid of some of this. I might keep a little bit of that. And 
ังI want to make sure I'm keeping, I don't want to cover up all of my, the part that I really liked, which was this old wall bit. So let's rip some more of this. We can get rid of some of this. Okay, so we're going to take it to the bottom. So it's like taking the image and um, turning it into a tuck spot without it looking like a formal square or round piece or, you know, it, it, it's very amorphous. So I'm going to get my PVA. And what we want to do is we just want to put some glue right across the top. I want to make sure I see enough of my, let's take some of this off. We don't need unnecessary stuff because I want to see that old wall, but I want it to also be broken up with an image. Okay, that's perfect. So now what we want to do is we just want to get some, put a line of glue across the top. Okay. Okay. Be nice to have it open. So you put a, a line of glue across the top. So I'm using a PVA and then you do one across the bottom because it's kind of like the idea of a belly band or it's a kind of a solid tuck spot without um, being too predictable in terms of shape or size. Okay, this is perfect. Use my okay, just kind of tap that along. Just kind of be careful, you don't want to work your glue back on your, your print, okay. So, love this. And I really, I don't want to keep my, I want to keep this, but I feel like it'd be nice to have something. Where's my pink fabric? Some of the silk that I have, I think that'd be cool on this edge without being too much. use this. Oh, I like that. Okay, so let's get one of these pieces. So what we have here now, you'll see, is that it becomes this tuck spot. See, it goes all the way through. You literally can stick a lot of something up in here. So it just becomes like another way to have a pocket or a belly band or a tuck without that, just that strip one. And you know how we did a belly band like that back here? Where is it? So remember we did this here 
and we stapled it. So, you know, this is kind of your traditional belly band. So it just becomes a place where you can stick something. Well, this one, I had, I started doing when I really want the shape or the something to be there. And I don't want it to look like, oh, that's an obvious tuck spot because it just becomes like a collage on the page. But it is in fact a tuck spot, which is cool. So let's go ahead and get this. Let me just try to get this really, you know, kind of pulled in. I don't want it so neat looking. We just kind of pull some of this threads on it. This is just some old silk. You can kind of pull it and really, you know, get it not looking so perfect. And we're going to put this right down there. So we're going to glue that there. So we're going to just take, we can use the ooh for this because, um, that that is that silk is so thin so let's just go ahead and run some glue stick right on that edge all the way down and it just kind of finishes this off but still allows us to see that old wall that was made by the green and it'll be a little something hanging off the edge And it picks up the pink of the flowers. Kind of let that hang a little off the top there. Let's see. Okay, yeah, so see. Just gives us that, oh, and look, it works so nicely with this other side. See, that's the muse. Like, I really wasn't even thinking until I flipped it. Like, oh, how does it look on the other side? And we have all this really nice pink and stuff there. And so that's perfect. And yet it picks up the pink of these flowers. So it's just another way to be in relationship with our cabinet of curiosities or this sort of field notes journal type of vibe. Um, with this flip space, we have a pocket there. And this is all from our cabinet of curiosities printables so that works out well i love it let's look let's just do a flip through and just see where we are see if we're doing our job at kind of keeping kind of keeping consistency but we still we still want to make it interesting so i think i need to tie my string this a little tighter because it's so if it kind of starts getting a little floppy you can tie it tighter so I think at the end I'm gonna probably gonna sew it I'm thinking that's what I normally do I normally do a pamphlet stitch and then it you know then it's then it's at that point a book but I don't like to do it until I'm completely finished because as like we did today I like to be able to take the page out and work it flat if we want to put something else in it I like to be able to have the flexibility to add other pages. Okay. That helped to make it a little tighter. We're almost at the center of our journal. Let's try to get these pages. What happens, it'll start rolling because now we have more, we have more on the front side you know, than we do back here, but we have just as many pages to go as we fill our book up. We're almost at the center, so let's look. Oh, I always like going back and looking through too, because look at the very first page. We have, I like how that pocket, this is a pocket, right? It's so mimicking that image there. Okay. Love this envelope there. We have some tabs. That's right, we have this here like that. We had this little flip out that we used the, the ledger pages to make. We need to make some more flip outs, but I try not to do too, I try to 
disperse these flip outs because if not, they can get really, the book can get really out of control. So as I move towards this hind part, I'll probably put another one in. I just like this page. This is like one of my faves. I don't know. Love it. Oh, I need to remember to use my Posca. See, you got to go through your book and see stuff because I could be using my, my Posca on some of these, like even the one I just did today. I wanted some writing up in there, but this is good like that right now. So we got to remember to use our Posca. This is all looking so good. Oh boy. I really liked when we did the background. Cause we used the Posca back there and we also stamped over it. So it's fun to go back and look at what you've done. So you can remember to repeat some of the things. I like how these pockets happen too, where they don't really, they look like they're still one page. So probably the next one I do, I'll put another pocket or something in and do something similar to that. I like that. And then we have our fold outs. We have our little pocket there. Piece of lace there. Flip up. This is yummy. Love the texture. And this also just becomes another, you know, writing spot and stuff, you know, because everything doesn't have to you know, be totally covered. This was a belly band. Slide stuff in there. Love this. Oh, this ink is the best, right? We're doing some more with that. Love this, this flip like this. This is our, one of our collages, the whole thing just went on the page. And this is what we did last week. You guys really like that sewing, I did too. And on the handmade paper, it's so nice. Really, really feel like it came out nicely. And the slides, ah, oh, the best. So yeah, and I really like, the use of the fabric, this kimono silk with this, with the um, stamping on it. So we did have another fold out here. So we added some more volume. I guess there's a quite a bit of fold outs in pockets. Okay. Oh, love this. I guess I just, I just love these buildings from these whole Oh, those um, slides and then the fabric up here, the silk and her. She's just amazing, isn't she? Would you like to know her? She's like, she would be so cool to know. Oh my goodness. And then, I oh, love it. And this like, this even works like the dress, this whole concept with this, that, this building. Alrighty, so that was a nice flip through. So yeah, periodically make sure you go through and flip and look at everything and sort of see what you've done. And then you can kind of think about what you want to do next, you know, what you want to add, um, what other kinds of techniques you want to kind of bring into your journal. It's a good idea kind of having some consistent pages because I really like how it shows up throughout the journal, but every page looks a little different, but yet it still is consistent. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, that was a lot of fun. So until next week, if you enjoyed the video, please thumb it up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell, hit all so that you get all the notifications. I do a Wednesday workshop this where I take 10 or so minutes and I take one topic and I really try to drill in on it right now we're really I'm really drilling in a lot around jelly printing because I get so many questions about jelly printing and so I thought it would be good just to go in and try to just hit a lot of things like just target it um and then of course our Sunday our Saturday hangout we hang out with Premiere and chit chat and I always enjoy that with you all and then um we're working in our our journal for the year so this is going to be a really cool accomplishment and um 
one of the things I was asked recently if I would do a workshop on how to take your journal and put it into an art book because I've talked about that with my patrons before. So I think I might do that at the beginning of next year when we're finished with this journal and what have you. Um, I'll do a workshop on actually how to take and put your book into an online publishing program and, and then like really just turn this into your own book. How cool would that be? So that's something I'm thinking about. So if you're interested in something like that, please let me know, comment below. Yes, you know, that's something you would like to, to do. And um, I've already had so many people ask me some so more, I'm sure I'll do it. But it's just nice to know if that's something that people would like to learn how to do. Because I think it's, not, it's you know, like to have this in your hand is cool, but to reproduce it um, into another like published, you know, like printed book that maybe you could give as gifts for family and stuff like that. I just think it's, it's uber cool. And people always uh, appreciate those as gifts. So anyway, let you go. Love you guys. Take care. And until next Saturday, happy creating. Bye-bye.